Hello everybody. Sometimes you want to read data from the internet or an external website, but unfortunately they don't offer an API. Alternatively, you can read the whole website or a specific endpoint and process the data in ABAP. How this works and which function module I use for it, I show you in this video. I have already prepared a report here and now I call the function module http2 underscore get and we see here different parameters exporting, importing, table and so on and I del delete the parameters which I don't use for this example today and I uncomment the parameters I use. So let's uncomment these these parameters here pretty print and next i want to define the variables what i need to call this uh, function module first i start with the uh, url and i use the url https uh, wikipedia.org for my example today. Next, timeout of type integer and I use the value 60. Next, the variable for the no log on flag is of type upper bool and I set here upper true. Then we need a variable for the status code and the status text. So I type here status code, type character three, next status text is of type character 128. Then I need a variable for the length of the body, of type integer. Next I need two internal tables for the head and the body is of type standard table of docs with the default key the same for the head and now let's pass the defined or the declared variables to the function module so I uncomment the second parameter first then I pass the variables here, status code, status text, and so on. Then LB length and the two internal tables, IT body and IT head. Then when the connection is successful, I do some coding here. So I use the class CL demo output and write and I copy this command now and I paste it five times. First I write here LV status code, then LV status text, next the length and then the head and the body and I want to display this information in an HTML website so I use the class cldemo output get and clapup browser to HTML exporting title and here I type HTTP to get source. Then I need the HTML string and this is this information is stored in the variable LV HTML. And then I need a container. And this is CL GUI container default default screen. Last, 
I write space. Okay, let's pretty print and activate the code. So let's start the program and nothing. Oh, okay, here I have to type if suzuka-c is zero. And, but nothing happens. So let's do set a breakpoint here in the if clause. We see here suzuka-c is one and one means connection failed because we uh, call here an HTTPS site and for this, we have to download the certificate from this site. So I open the browser and I open the website wikipedia.org. Then I go to certificate details and here I can export the certificate. I pick here my SAP GUI folder. And then I save the certificate here. So we close the browser and we open the transaction as Rust. Here we click on the folder SSL client standard, then we scroll down to the button import. Then we pick the file. We pick the certificate from wikipedia.org. Click on open and we upload the certificate. Yes. Then I scroll down. And then I have to click on change so that we can upload this certificate to the certificate list. So I click on this button, add to certificate list. And we see here the entry Wikipedia and then we click on save. So we close this window and we run the program again. Then the SU SuperC code is zero, so the connection is okay, but invalid data output not possible. So run the program again in debug modus, and we click here on the variables with data in it, status code, text, length, head, and body. So click on head, looks good. We click on body. Oh, and here we see some Chinese symbols. So that's the problem. So we go back and we set here this parameter blanks to carriage return line feed. We set this to up up true or x. So let's activate and run the program again. And now we see the website code. We see the, the head, the body, and here we can scroll down. And here we see what's what's the the website source code of Wikipedia is. And if you need some special infos from this website, you can pass this information. So we can uh, also use a special endpoint of a website. So I type here wiki and ABAP. Then I activate and run the program again. And we see here a different head and a different body. If we scroll down here, we see the, the text about the program language ABAP. So here we see ABAP is one of the many applications and so on and so on. Yes. So if you like such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Leave me your opinion about this video in the comments. I hope you will be back for the next video. Greetings and see you soon.